What's up guys, Garrett Green is back at it again, bringing you the most organic, freshest, most locally roasted content that I can today. And today, we will be reviewing all five of Emma Chamberlain's Chamberlain Coffee Line. I got this in the mail yesterday, and in true fashion, I have not opened it yet because I want to know how they uh, package this shit, basically. So let's do a little unboxing. Okay. It is <laughs> packaged plainly. That's okay. That's fine. I'm sure there's coffee in here, right? There's coffee in here. So I got all five coffee blends here. Such cute packaging. Got the early bird blend. Kind of been beaten to death in the package. Early bird. Night owl. Careless cat. Social dog. And we have the original family blend. Wonder if all that's in frame. Probably not. So here we have... Uh, sorry, I haven't showered today. I figured it would probably be the most appropriate to do this entire video just in a white hoodie while I look like I just woke up because I kind of just did wake up. So all of these coffees are apparently locally roasted in California, I believe, and uh, they seem to all come from different places. I like how it shows the caffeine strength. That's pretty nice. I mean, this is the early bird, so that makes sense that this would be high caffeine. I just have to say, this packaging is so cute. The rebrand where they changed the logo and all the color scheme and everything, I love it. Like all these graphics look so like homey. They look homey. But yeah, so apparently this entire line is uh, fair trade. It is organic. It is locally roasted in California, wherever in California. And I honestly just think this is like fucking cool as shit that you can just be a 19 year old girl that is not only an insanely prolific personality on the internet that everybody loves no matter what she does. And also have your own coffee line that is a like fully functioning business. Probably the two greatest things that you could be to be the most happy in the US is rich and self-employed. And Emma fits both those check boxes, so. Go you, Emma, good job. So I love coffee a lot, a lot. So now I have five entire bags of ground coffee to use. So this is gonna be very long sustaining for my coffee appetite, but I'm pretty fucking stoked because usually when I get a cup of coffee, I just get one thing and I say like, I want a light roast or I want like a dark roast or I want something with a lot of caffeine in it or I want something that is like full bodied or something, but I don't really know coffee that well. I'm not like a connoisseur or anything. I really only know the flavors. I don't really know about coffee. I don't know how it's made. I don't know exactly where it comes from other than Guatemala, Mexico, Peru, Papua New Guinea, Nicaragua, Colombia. But like I said, I don't, I'm not really a connoisseur or aficionado of coffee, but I will give my best review of each of these flavors based on, I guess, just objectively kind of what they taste like. Because things are meant to be enjoyed for what they are, not what you want them to be. And that being said, let's find duty shit. But first what I'm gonna do is get ready because I feel gross and I need to shower and just a little secret between you and me. I've already had my coffee today and it wasn't Emma Chamberlain's coffee. Hi! So clearly I'm not gonna make five full cups of coffee and drink all of it, so I think what I'm gonna do is make five very small cups and then split them up because I also wanna try them in the style, which is like, what is it, vanilla almond milk? Cause, you know, veganism. And then I want to give both a try. I wanna just straight up fucking raw. And then I want it the sweet, nice style. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what's going on with this. We'll see what really is like fucking up. Like we'll see really what's going on. <laughs> So I guess we just wait. Waiting is fun. Oh, these bags are resealable. Okay, so first up, let's try the original blend. Now the original family blend is a medium roast that is smooth and rich. And it is a caffeine strength of, I guess, 
four? I don't know, I can't tell. Four or five, I think it's four. Originating from Colombia, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. Those are three countries. So let's do the hot version first. Interesting, because I thought it smelled really earthy, and it really is earthy. It really is exactly as described, smooth and rich. It tastes very, very coffee-y. There's not any, like, sweetness or difference in it. This is coffee coffee. So this is definitely, I would say, a very standard coffee flavor. It's as regular coffee as you could possibly really want. Now, let's do it Emma style. Isn't that beautiful? The swirls. Wow. <laughs> I totally see why Emma drinks her coffee with vanilla almond milk now, because wow, I almost can't even taste the coffee at all. It tastes like vanilla almond milk. Very plain, very much so like what you would expect from any type of sweetened iced coffee with milk in it. But this is a very standard coffee flavor, but I'm for it. This is probably the one that you'll buy the most often for sure. All right, next up we've got the early bird blend, which is a light roast with bright, sweet notes. And this is coffee strength maximum, which might have been the last one too, so there might not be a difference. This has origins in Colombia and Guatemala. Oh wow, that is very sweet. That is very, very different from the original. Yeah, that has kind of almost that, uh, almost like acidic almost like citrusy type of flavor. Yeah, I like that. That's the kind of coffee when I go to the coffee shop, it's like, hey, do you have something that's a light roast that's like a bit sweet, a bit like tangy and different? And like, this is the type of shit they give me where it's like a surprise. I like, I like, I like this a lot. lot. Well, out of two, this is my favorite so far. <laughs> Opa, Emma style. Boom, double bro. I'm gonna use less this time. I wanna taste it. I wanna taste that shit, bro. It's the fucking face. I realized I used too much almond milk on the first one. <laughs> With the sweetness of this one, it almost tastes weird, like almost like kind of conflicting with almond milk because it's kind of got its own sweetness going on, like its own type of sweetness. And then when you add the richness of the vanilla almond milk, it makes it really like, I don't know, it's like two different types of sweet, you know, like the difference between like a strawberry and like a gusher. You might not want to eat a strawberry with a gusher. No, 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 that's a different video. All right, next up we have our social dog blend. Beautiful, I love that name, social dog, because it implies what the coffee is gonna make you be like, which I have had way too much coffee at this point, so I am roided. Social dog blend is a medium roast with velvety and sweet flavors. Velvety and sweet. This is from Papua New Guinea, Nicaragua, and Colombia, and its coffee strength is level four. We got a DEF CON four over here. Let's give this a try. It's interesting it was described as velvety because it, compared to the original blend, it has more bitter coffee taste. So it's, it's more bitter right out of the gate, which I feel like the almond milk is really gonna complement because that way they're like, it's not the same type of flavor clashing, it's like two completely different flavors, but let's give the... Oh, that might have been too fucking much. Yeah. Okay, it's interesting, with the more bitter coffee flavors, the almond milk almost kind of cancels it out, and then it just becomes almond milk. It's good though. Me personally, I prefer dark roast. I like more caffeine when I want more caffeine, but for the most part, I like dark roast, just because I like kind of that dark, rich bitterness that comes with it. Social dog. I say early bird's my favorite so far, then social dog, then original. I'm comfortable with that. Okay, and moving on to Night Owl, which this is, I, I love this one because I am a night person. I stay up until probably four or five in the morning just about every single day and wake up at uh, embarrassing times, usually in the early afternoon. So maybe, maybe Night Owl will be for me. Maybe this is my four or five p.m. coffee. The Night Owl blend is a dark roast, so it's already winning points with me. Uh, and it is creamy and rich flavors. And it is from Colombia, Sumatra, and Peru. Cool. Coffee strength of three. Caffeine jack fucking loaded, bro. Okay, initially. So Night Owl, this is what I want coffee to taste like. This is very, very, very smooth. 
very much so like it just tastes like coffee coffee also at the same time it has kind of its own it's almost like chocolate the richness of it it kind of hits your mouth like uh you know how chocolate can like kind of rub your mouth raw if you eat enough of it i don't know if you've ever been at that point in your life yeah i like night owl a lot which is conflicting because i really like the early bird which is the polar opposite but at the same time i think this is number one for me night owl let's go night owl number one and then it's that swirl though yeah the almond milk definitely complements Night Owl the best so far. I really liked it with the social dog, but it, Night Owl is winning the most points here, let's say. This is the first bag I'm gonna go through for sure. Now, last up we have Careless Cat Blend, which this is also an extremely cute cover. I just love the little cat. But this is a medium roast, which is smooth and warm. So I expect this to feel like a sweater inside my body when I drink it. So this is from Guatemala, Mexico, and Peru. And it is a caffeine strength of two and a half. So this is some weak ass shit, but who cares if it tastes nice? Wow. Yeah, definitely medium roast. Tastes more like social dog. Kind of more that acidity, almost citrus berry-ish type of flavor. Wow, that's really good. I really like that a lot. What? Is this my favorite so far? <laughs> it's hard to rank coffee. I don't really know much about it, so it's hard to really like know what to judge it on. Other than whether I fucking like it or not. That's good. This is very good on its own. I feel like with the milk, it's definitely going to do the same thing that social dog did, which is kind of have conflicting flavors because this has a sweetness all in its own and I am for it. I am for the sweetness and I don't ever drink coffee with milk in it so maybe I'm biased. Am I biased? All right, let's get those real swirls. I ran out of ice so bear with me. Maybe that's too much. Initial taste, I definitely like vanilla almond milk with the careless cat more than the social dog but I like it most with night owl. Vanilla almond milk with night owl is, that's the way to go. Second best I would say is probably original blend. Original blend goes best. The differentiation in flavor as far as the bitterness with the sweetness, because when you get sweet with sweet, it has to be the right kind of sweet, otherwise they conflict. And we don't need conflict in our coffee. This is conflict free, sustainably made coffee. You can't have a conflict in your mouth going on. This defeats the whole fucking premise. All the work is done for nothing. All right, so let's put these in order of my favorites. So Night Owl is probably a close second to Careless Cat. Careless Cat, I put I put number one because I like the sweetness of it, and it is it's it's good. It's I'm fucking jacked right now. Night Owl, I put number two because it's really smooth and it is a darker roast. So this is definitely like my everyday gonna go through this bag probably first coffee. Number three, I put Early Bird because Early Bird is another sweet coffee and it has a lot of caffeine, so this is probably the third bag I'll go through. Then I would say I would go Original Blend because I like the bitterness and it tastes like a real classic coffee. It tastes classic as fuck. Even though it is kind of a base flavor for what coffee should taste like in my opinion, it is very rich and good with that flavor. So I really like the Original Blend and it comes in at number four. And number five is gonna be Social Dog and that is because it is very, very bitter. It is a little, it's like the, the coffee, coffee flavor. It's like this coffee is coffee flavored with coffee. That's cool, but it, it just doesn't have like subtle type of notes and things that I like. So this is the pack right here, bruh. Well guys, that is Chamberlain Coffee Company's uh, entire line that is out right now on, I think it's just chamberlaincoffeeco.com, whatever it is. I'll put it down in the description. You can try these out for yourself, obviously. If you watch Emma Chamberlain, you know and are very aware of her coffee company because she announces it all the time, <laughs> which I completely understand. Young entrepreneur, I feel you. People love you, bitch. But this is great for me. I love coffee. I love getting to try things and things that are new, new endeavors for people. I like getting to be a part of that process, which is not substantial coming from my end because I'm not really providing a lot other than a coffee review 
but maybe it's some insight. Maybe it'll give you some influence on your decision if anybody ever sees this video. I mean, we're at 53 subscribers. I mean, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it, guys. We're getting through this fucking together, man. But as always, it's been great to see all of you. If you like my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you throw me a like because I need likes and they sustain my life force and everything leave down in the comments what is your favorite chamberlain coffee company flavor and which ones you've tried as always it's been great everybody be good i love you